Rach, you must be so pleased with the win, but the manner of it too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we know West Ham's not an easy place to come to. Um, they're kind of in and around us at the bottom half of the table. And, you know, we had a game plan. We knew what we needed to do. And ultimately, that was come here and get three points. Um, so we've set out what we wanted to do. And, yeah, it was a sort of 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, that kind of game. So, you know, to get on the end of the winning side is, is a massive, massive achievement for us and one, one that we will be really proud of. Just to take you back to the start of the game, you were under the cosh for the best part of 20, 25 minutes to start the game, but that first equaliser, it seemed to be a turning point, didn't it? Yeah, I think the equaliser came at a good time, not too long after their goal. Um, obviously, we were disappointed to go one down, but at the same time, again, we stuck, due, stuck to what we needed to do and then the game plan and got that goal back uh, pretty quickly. But yeah, disappointing to concede two, but again, ultimately, we've won the game and that's what we needed to do. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, but when West Ham score with 10 minutes to go, what's going through your head? Do you think we can definitely still win this game or did it feel like yourself that chances were at a minimum today for you? Yeah, personally for me, the chances were at a minimum, absolutely. I uh, got an assist and obviously managed to score the winner, but that's what a striker's job is, is to be there at the right time and put it in the back of the net when you needed to. Um, but, I mean, you've seen what we've done this season so far. Last 10 minutes of games, we've conceded one and then two and lost the game. Um, so it's nice to be on the, on the other side of it, but I think the belief within the squad now and, and we know what we need to do and, and that is ultimately to get points on the board. Um, I think we had a tough start to the season, but you know we played top five teams in the first five, four, five games and it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, so hopefully we're on the, on the up now, but we just keep going game by game and yeah, really delighted to get the win today. And you've just watched your winning goal back. Just talk us through that. It was a moment of brilliance, wasn't it? Yeah, I probably won't score, right, score a goal like that again, but... Um, I tell you, I was more gassed with the save on, my save on the line in the last seconds of the game um, than I was for the goal. Um, maybe that's the n nasty defender side of me in there, but no, it was, uh, it was a beautiful goal. Um, I think for me, it was just right place, right time. It was a great ball in from Corsi, I think, and then I knew as soon as Maz was going to drop that down to me, I just had to get on the end of it and do what I needed to do. And, and again, that was put the ball in the back of the net and it was pretty nice. <laughs> And you've just alluded to it there, we've won three games on the bounce now. Are you starting to see more and more things that you like about this team going forward? I love this team and I love what we're about and, you know, from top down, we, we're, we know what we need to do. And I know I keep saying that, but we've had a tough start. And I said to you a few weeks ago in an interview, there's, there's no hiding from that. But at the end of the day, we have to come to these places, get points. We've got a massive game midweek and then Everton on the weekend. So. Yeah, we're growing, um, we're kicking on every day, every training session's a better day for us, it's another day to improve, another day to learn, uh, but yeah, the belief in the squad is we can go and get a few more points now. Well done, Rachel. Thank you.